Richard has uh, somebody called Wendy. I have somebody called Paul. Now, Paul came round in the ABC in Sydney to fix the lights. And, you know, I was working away, editing, and he said, um, hi, you know, very friendly, very warm. I'm a creationist. And so I nodded um, and tried to get on with my work. And um, he shuffled again as if to say I'm still a creationist. And um, <clears throat> I had the same kind of... I get cross. Richard doesn't. He's a very, very even person. Uh, but I adopted the kind of attitude when someone comes in and says, um, I'm a paedophilic pederast and I'm just a human being as well. And I gritted my teeth and smiled again. Anyway, he wanted to talk about this stuff and so he made the line that he accepted some aspects of evolution and it goes on in little boxes, in, in, in kind of layers. But at no point do these layers get more information. In other words, the little animal stays a little animal and makes other little animals, rather like those bacteria you've got in test tubes. They stay bacteria. They don't become anything else. And um, so we had a friendly exchange. And as the years have passed, he comes back again and says exactly the same thing. Now, there's several pages of Wendy in the book, and with, with Richard saying, yes, there are fossils of human beings. You know, you call them missing links, but there they are. They're not missing anymore. And on it goes. Now, I don't want to ask you particularly about your experience with those guys, because you've done that so often. But I do want to ask you about Paul's point about, about information, that the stuff stays at its original complexity, as if God had made a set of animals which went sideways and changed slightly, rather like those foxes in a doggy way, but no other. What do they have wrong about the term information? Well, first of all, there are, there are two things here. One, one is the, the view that uh, they accept evolution at, within uh, small limits, as you say, but that, that they make a distinction between microevolution and macroevolution. And macroevolution is just what you get when you let microevolution go on for a, a, a very long time. Um, that, that's the answer at that level. But the answer at the level of information is that the information content in the genome is increasing in various ways. One, one way is that when um, mutation occurs, random change occurs, and then selection narrows it down, that in itself is an increase in information. But the answer that, that they really need to be told is that the total size of the genome can increase and does increase because you get gene duplication. Uh, this doesn't happen so often, but every now and again you get a duplication of a gene, uh, sometimes in tandem, sometimes it's duplicated to a completely different place. So you get two different versions of the gene, which are then free to evolve in different ways. So the genome as a whole, the genome of the species, the genotype of the species, can increase in size because of gene duplication and then divergence. And you can do beautiful family tree studies of genes Never mind about family tree studies of animals. You can do that too, of course, and that's what we conventionally do. You can do family tree studies of genes, hemoglobin A and hemoglobin B, both of which we have, once upon a time were descended from just plain hemoglobin. And then the gene split, and hemoglobin A evolved one way, and hemoglobin B evolved another way. They're still recognizably cousins, but there are other genes which are barely recognizably cousins at all. They split longer ago than that. And so that's one way in which the information content of the genome can increase. What about before DNA? You believe, well, you seem to give a nod to the RNA story, but RNA is still a pretty complex molecule, like hemoglobin. There is a problem with the origin of life. Uh, the, the origin of life must have been the origin of the first gene in the more broad sense of the first self-replicating information. Because once you've got that, then natural selection can, can, get, can get going. But DNA 